Greetings and salutations, folks. What's going on, everybody? This is Ape in Space with your new update on Virgin Galactic and our favorite stock. Today, I'm going to be throwing you guys an update on the Aurora Flight Sciences um, mothership program that they're building the two new ships for Virgin Galactic. The company behind the two new motherships is going to be Aurora Flight Sciences. They are a Boeing company. They're designing and building the next two generation motherships to support the air launch of Virgin Galactic spaceship. Since early 2022, Aurora and Virgin Galactic teams have been working together on the design concepts for the new ships. Before an aircraft build can begin, teams must first complete and design the construction of various tools that will be used to create and assemble each component. One type of tool is called a mold, sometimes called a cure fixture. This is where parts are formed. For the Virgin Galactic program, Aurora's tooling engineers begin from the outside in. The molds that will make the fuselage are among the first to be designed by the team. Each 60-foot fuselage skin will be constructed from carbon fiber, resin, and honeycomb core using a hand layup process. The molds for the fuselage are broken up into four sections, the nose, the cabin, the wing and gear, and the boom. To construct these molds, engineers first create computer models using the 3D modeling software. Then the work with the manufacturing team to turn those models into molds begins. On average, the process from tool design to manufacturing the first parts takes about six months to complete. So now that the construction has begun, here's the next steps that you can expect. Engineers across Aurora continue to work on the detailed design of Virgin Galactic's next generation of motherships. Tooling work is taking place primarily at Aurora's manufacturing facilities in Mississippi and West Virginia. Once tool designs are complete, the tools are made by specialist vendors and then delivered to the appropriate manufacturing facility. The fuselage skins, for example, will be manufactured at Aurora's Mississippi facility, taking advantage of its 16 by 40 foot autoclave, and then will be shipped to the company's West Virginia facility for further assembly. Upon completion, these next two generation motherships will support Virgin Galactic's goal to conduct 400 flights per year, with the first new mothership expected to enter services in 2025. That'll be your update for today. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Also, there's some links below if you want some free stock. Until next time, my friends, continue being excellent to each other and be well.